Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, we will be continuing the playlist of blockchain and in this video we are going to discuss about smart contract. Okay, so guys, you have been seeing the amount of effort that I'm actually putting in making videos. Daily I'm trying to upload at least one or two videos. I'm very much near to 500k subscribers. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, share with all your friends as usual. We really need to reach 500k as soon as possible. Help me out in this. And uh, yeah, many people are actually asking practical videos with respect to blockchain. We'll just understand some of the theoretical things and then probably I'll also be implementing a lot of end-to-end -end projects. And I'll also be showing you in the future that how you can combine probably data science with blockchain and do amazing work, okay? So let's go ahead and let's discuss in this video what is smart contract and recently I had uploaded videos about NFT, right? This also uses a kind of smart contract. We'll discuss it. What exactly smart contract and how it can do a lot of things and it can make our work easier. We'll try to have a look onto that. So uh, if you know about an organization which is called as Kickstarter, okay? So Kickstarter is a corporation which will actually help you to do something called as crowdfunding. Okay. Now let's consider, I'll give you a very good example. I'll say that, okay, fine. Uh, me, Krishnaik, I've gone to Kickstarter. I've told that, okay, in their website that I will probably upload a blockchain videos of the entire syllabus. Okay. In probably two months. Okay. So I'll, I'll upload the entire blockchain course and uh, I will plan to basically do some funding from the crowd because obviously to make videos, you require a lot of efforts. You need to really buy some good devices to record it, camera to record your face, to record the entire content, you require very good softwares, to edit the videos, you require very good softwares. So for all those things, you require some amount of money, right? So let's consider that I have pledged in the Kickstarter website, which is just like a crowdfunding website, which will actually help us to take some crowdfunding. You can go into this uh, website's company's website and probably see that what all things people are pledging. And I have pledged that, okay, I will be uploading the entire blockchain course. I'm just taking as an example. Obviously, I'll not take money for uploading this content. Anyhow, I'm uploading it in YouTube. But let's consider that I've pledged that, okay, if I get somewhere around thousand dollars okay from the crowd if the crowd actually contributes it and probably provides this particular amount then i will definitely be able to upload or create the entire blockchain content in two months right kickstarter is just like a middleman which will actually help me to do this particular crowdfunding because it is a platform altogether where many people know about it okay now let's consider that after a week time the total amount that we probably got from the funding crowdfunding is somewhere around $1,100. Okay. Now here you can actually see that already we got $1,100. That basically means the pledged amount that I had actually put, right? We crossed that, right? And from the crowdfunding, I could get that amount. Now what Kickstarter will do, they'll take their commission. They'll take their commission. Probably let's consider that they take the commission of around $50 and remaining entire money that they have got, which is nothing but 1100 minus 50, which is nothing but 1050, they have now transferred Krish Nayak so that he can make his videos about blockchain and may upload that particular course content within two months, okay? So this is just one example, and people who have done the crowdfunding, they will be getting this entire course completely for free, right? So whoever has actually done this crowdfunding, I'll probably send the entire videos to them through some different, different means, right? Now here you can understand that this is very much important guys. Once it crossed the pledged amount, right? Then Kickstarter took his commission and gave the money to me. What if the amount did not cross thousand? Let's consider that from the crowdfunding, we got only $700. Now what will happen? This this is not greater than the pledged amount that I had actually kept, right? So what this money will happen is that after a time frame, this will be returned back again to the crowd, right? It will be returned back 
again to the crowd. So now I hope you are able to understand what is happening. There are two scenarios. If the pledged amount is crossed through crowdfunding, I'll get the money and then I'll start upload. I'll start creating my blockchain videos and I'll distribute to the people who had done actually the crowdfunding. If suppose it has not crossed the pledged amount. So what will happen is that that an entire amount will be refunded to the crowd itself who had actually given the money. Now over here, you can see two condition. One is the if condition. If something is satisfying, I'm getting the money, right? And then I start uh, making my videos else condition. If you are not satisfying the pledged amount, if the money is not greater then what will happen, it will get returned to the crowd. So these two conditions, right? Similarly, smart contracts work in the same way. Instead, the middleman like Kickstarter will not be there, right? So in short, what smart contracts are, they are some kind of rules, right? Which we basically write through some scripting language. What scripting language or framework we use? We use something called as solidity. This solidity is extremely useful in Ethereum, in Ethereum blockchain. Right. And whether there is something related to blockchain also, there are something called as blockchain script, but up to one level, you can basically create a smart contract. But Ethereum, if I consider about Ethereum blockchain, solidity with the help of solidity, I can definitely write this kind of smart contracts. Now, when I include the smart contracts, it is a script. It will work on some conditions and it will be able to execute by itself in the blockchain. So guys, I hope you have understood about smart contract. They are simple rules which are written through scriptings like solidity in Ethereum blockchain, wherein you probably have just two condition if else, right? And this is exactly going to happen inside a blockchain itself. You don't require any middleman to execute something if something is getting satisfied or if something is not getting satisfied, right? Now, if I take an example of a blockchain itself, right? I hope everybody knows uh, in blockchain, you basically work in a peer to peer network. So but let's consider that this is a distributed peer to peer network. These are really interconnected with each other. Remember this entire peer to peer network are interconnected each other and they will have the copy of the blockchain with respect to each and every nodes, right? So here are all the nodes itself. I've already discussed in my YouTube playlist about peer to peer network. So, so let's consider this is my peer to peer network, right? And everything, every, like every node will have its own blockchain and it will have the copy, right? All this copy will be same, right? Now, where does smart contract come into existence now? Let, let's consider that they have the similar blockchain in this peer to peer network. Along with this blockchain, the smart contract duplicate copy will also be present with this, right? With all this blockchain, it will be present. This smart contract will be some kind of scripting language. What we have written with respect to some kind of code, you may be considering Krish how it can be written. Don't worry. I'll make all the videos with respect to practical implementation so that you'll be able to learn. Okay, so here are all my basically it has the entire copy throughout the entire network. So you have this blockchain copy throughout the entire network. Okay, now in this particular network, what you are actually seeing is that now if a certain condition is satisfied, this smart contract is going to get executed in every node. Okay, and one very important thing since this is a blockchain network, one condition, one important property that you should know that it is immutable, right? And since the blockchain is entirely cryptographically linked, it is very much difficult to change any kind of smart contract. Once it is written, it is written, it has to get executed whenever a certain condition is satisfied. Now, let me consider one more very good example and let me show you a real world example with respect to NFT. Now, I hope I have made up videos about NFT in my blockchain playlist. Let's consider that there is a digital art, okay? Now this digital art in the form of NFT that is non fungible token. Okay, non fungible token is sold, right? Let's consider that we have Jack Dorsey, Jack Dorsey tweet, right? He's the he's the owner, he's the real owner of the first tweet of Twitter. Now if you remember this first tweet was sold by sorry was bought by a person A, let's consider there's a person A over here. Okay, he bought this first tweet. Now when this first tweet which was in the form of an image was actually bought by A, then what will happen is that in the blockchain, 
this information this information will get saved right this information will get saved let's consider that in this blockchain in the form of nft jack was owning the tweet the first tweet in the next blockchain when the person a bought now a will basically be the owner of the tweet right now as soon as a buys that particular tweet right so first tweet when the a buys probably they have bought this in 2.9 million dollars or 2.5 million dollar just try to see the exact value okay so i'll just write it properly let's consider that a had actually bought it in 2.5 million dollar okay so 2.5 million dollar right so the smart contract would have all the information like who was the previous owner and who is the current owner and who was the real owner the first owner who owned this particular tweet now let's consider that after some time b person has now bought this particular tweet b person has actually bought this particular tweet now over here the b has actually bought it in five million dollar if you remember guys in nft i told something about royalty okay so this is very much important guys this royalty is basic whenever uh whenever an nft is sold from one or whenever the ownership is basically transferred from one person to another person obviously there will be some increase in the price apart from this apart from this what will happen as soon as the ownership is transferred the amount will be transferred to the previous owner the amount will be transferred to the previous owner that is a apart from that 10% royalty will also be transferred to the first owner who had actually come up with this particular tweet or this particular digital art now how this 10% is probably going over there the entire amount is actually going to a that is all because of smart contract okay so this smart contract is basically written in the form of scripting language mostly javascript in in solidity you have javascript they have actually written this and it is mostly for ethereum blockchain because ethereum why it has become popular because of this region this reason you know that is that you can easily create smart contracts and any number of smart contracts you can independently write a script using solidity and you can put up in the ethereum blockchain wherein you'll be able to do all this kind of task nft so that is the reason why nft is becoming popular this smart contract would have all the owners who have actually bought that particular nft and how the ownership has basically been transferred in short a smart contract is something it's just like a rule that gets executed on on some on some certain events now in this particular case as the ownership is transferred the amount needs to be transferred to the owners the previous owners apart from this this 10 percent royalty will also get transferred that basically means in the third time when the c let's consider that c person has now bought the tweet from b as in the form of nft suppose they have bought it from eight million dollars then again the smart contract will get triggered the remaining amount will get transferred to b and there will also be a 10 percent royalty that will go to jack right so this entire step has become automated in blockchain and remember guys the smart contract cannot be changed it is completely immutable because one of the most important thing in blockchain is that it is a distributed peer-to-peer -peer network and yes no one can change any kind of information in this kind of blockchain so i hope you got this idea about smart contracts i hope i tried my level best to show you by different different examples what exactly is smart contract so this was it from my side guys i hope you like this particular video and don't worry i'll be coming up with a lot of practical videos as we go ahead thank you and all bye bye